Let me explain something to gun rights activists. The Second Amendment is about militias, and by default, that meant at that time that a person described as the people, which is plural, by the way, and a mass noun, could carry guns or have guns. But one of the main features of the Second Amendment is that it is about a well-regulated militia. And if gun rights activists want to say that it's really about gun ownership, then that regulation is about gun ownership. So, as a Maryland man has been walking around with an AR-15 near a bus stop around children, saying that he wasn't there for the children but to demonstrate that what he was doing was legal in protest of new legislation which makes it illegal for people to carry such weapons near schoolyards and other venues, he needs to understand, and others like him need to understand, that it's not unconstitutional to say that you can't carry such weapons in such places. The Constitution says in the Second Amendment that we can regulate gun ownership. That is the point, part of the point anyway, in the militia-oriented Second Amendment, which has been misinterpreted by gun rights activists and people selling guns. But now on to the issue. Why is it okay for people to carry weapons like this around when we are not amidst a war or a civil war? If the government is going to say that it's okay to walk around with weapons like that, then we've lost our minds. And the government has already done that, interpreting the Second Amendment and gun rights activism as to mean that, that you can walk around with a weapon like that. Why should it be okay to walk around with a weapon like that if we are not at war? In the very least, if we're going to make the insane allowance for people to walk around with weapons like that, there should be a state of war at hand. Otherwise, the weapon should be locked in an arsenal or at someone's home. Why would you bring that downtown? Why would you bring that to a shopping mall, to a movie theater? There are only two reasons, and one which incorporates the other. You're terrified, which means you have a mental illness, or there's a war going on. And of course, being terrified in the latter case is normal. Being terrified without the presence of a war is insane. We have legislated the legality of insane behavior as legal in the United States. That means we've lost our minds. That means you, politician, and you, gun rights activist, are screaming out loud from the rooftops that you need mental help and or especially in the case of politicians, that you are, beyond the pale, corrupt. Because if you're not in need of mental help, and you have made it legal for people to carry weapons like that, which has resulted in the deaths of thousands of people, including children, then you're absolutely beyond the pale corrupt and you should be removed from government because the formation of a society is not to make people's lives less stable, it's to make them more stable and safe. And the laws as they stand now stand against the Bill of Rights and the idea that we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Thanks for listening. This is Carl for today in Tokyo, where I'm safe from weapons like this. Because this society was set up to keep people happy and safe, not in fear or rich in a corrupt fashion.